Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back, you guys. I just woke up like one hour ago. I'm not making my first meal of the day, as you guys can tell. This meal is going to be very high calorie because I'm a little bit behind on food. All right, boom. So we got our rice. Now I need my beef. Alrighty. So there we go, meal one, all ready to go. I'm gonna mix this up. The best thing to do with your beef and rice is to mix it up, get all that beefy flavor in the rice. Ooh. Welcome back you guys to the bulking series. If you're new here, welcome. We're gonna get some sauce for this beef and rice right now. On today's agenda, we have back day. So we're gonna train some back and biceps later on. Obviously, tons of food to eat because it's bulking season and your boy is skinny. We gotta get huge, sick of being small. So we got a lot of food to put down. I'm gonna take you guys through it all. It's gonna be a fun day. I am super hungry. I've got that like kind of empty stomach, nauseous feeling in my stomach right now just because I haven't eaten yet today. So I gotta pound this meal down, but this looks delicious. Like look at that. Nothing like some freshly cooked beef and rice. Mm. Always need me my beverage. Recent favorite thing to do for my back days is to kind of loosen up my shoulders and my rotator cuffs before I actually train. I've been noticing that it's been giving me a way better contraction and like a mind to muscle connection with my back or in my back. I will show you guys some of those exercises that I do to just like open those up later on, but I'm excited for back, man. It's gonna be a good day. Alrighty, it's pre-workout time. I'm gonna get my nitric and my beta alanine. It is pouring down rain outside right now. Like it's literally lashing rain. So I don't necessarily know how I'm gonna get to the gym without getting soaked. I guess I could go with an umbrella, right? Question is, do I even have an umbrella to use? Cannot find an umbrella for my life. So we're gonna have to get soaked on the way to the gym. You guys always see me taking this stuff, Gorilla Mode Nitric, but I wanna to talk to you guys about the ingredients. You can see in here you got sodium nitrate, nitrosigine, aguatine sulfate. All of those ingredients help improve blood flow throughout your body. And what this means in the gym is when you guys are lifting weights and you're increasing your body temperature, when you take a pump pre-workout like nitric, it helps alleviate that blood flow to make it go easier. And you're gonna have that warmer feeling in your extremities, like your muscles. And and for me personally, when I'm like warmer overall, I have a way better pump. I feel like the movements when I'm doing them are smoother. And I get like less joint pain, like my elbows, my wrists will just feel better because they almost are more lubricated with my increased body temperature. Just overall, it's a beneficial experience and I love taking it. And if all that wasn't reason enough, the main benefit on top of all that is it makes you look freaking sick. The pump you get after your workouts taking nitric, you look like essentially a bodybuilder when you're finished up with that lift. So it's good stuff. So I got one scoop of the nitric in there. Now I'm gonna hit it with some beta alanine. Now, if you guys take pre-workout, you should probably know about beta alanine, but if you don't, this stuff gives you kind of a tingly feeling under your skin. It's known to improve athletic performance, but me personally, it's a really good mental stimulus. It kind of keeps you like a little bit itchy. It makes your skin almost kind of like a little scratchy and it wants you to, it almost urges you to keep moving around. Otherwise the itches like take over. It's definitely not something for everyone, but I personally love it. And I know most pre-workout junkies definitely enjoy beta alanine, so yeah. We're gonna chug this down. I freaking love this new flavor, blackberry lemonade. It's literally just dropped a couple of days ago for Gorilla. If you guys wanna try that new flavor or any other supplements from Gorilla, links in the description. And of course, you can always use code Lee for 10% off. I like to do a fat, big jug of water, slowly sip this down, and that'll keep you nice and hydrated and allow all the ingredients to properly work and not just kind of not activate in your body if you're dehydrated. Almost forgot, last little bit of that secret sauce is some 
sea salt into that pre-workout just a little bit. It's gonna help increase our hydration levels. If you have depleted minerals in the gym, it can make you feel kind of sluggish and low energy sometimes, so. I'll do a little salt in there as well. Also, before any of you guys comment, tell me I need to shave. I know, trust me, I know. To be honest, I don't know why I haven't shaved sooner, but it's coming off most likely today. 2,000 years later. All right, fast forward, we're here. I'm a little bit wetter than I would like to admit, but we're gonna get into it regardless. Workout today is back, like I said. So I'm gonna start on rear delts, get nice and warm, and then build into it. Your hand or foot causes you to sin cut it off and cast it from you. It is better for you to enter into life lame or maimed rather than having two hands or two feet to be cast into the everlasting fire. And if your eye causes you to sin, pluck it out and cast it from you. It is better for you to enter into life with one eye rather than having two eyes to be cast into hellfire. So adequately warm. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to go heavy on rear delts. So I'm gonna do three working sets. So now I've done two warm up sets. I'm not gonna count those towards my working sets. I'm just gonna do three legitimately heavy hard sets because I really wanna start overloading my rear delts. We're gonna see how this goes. Notice how I have like a slight forward lean when I'm doing these. I'm not keeping my back straight up. I'm keeping my head here and my butt where my elbow is. That kind of better helps you isolate the rear delt. If you sit straight up, it's a little bit more upper back and less focus on the actual rear delt, but I'm just trying to isolate them right now. Rear delts are one of those muscles where they're really boring to train. Like it doesn't actually produce any dopamine to hit your rear delts. It's kind of just like annoying. You can't even see them, but if you really dedicate like three, six quality months towards progressively getting stronger with your rear delt exercises the most aesthetic physiques on the planet have like crazy looking rear delts so don't sleep on them guys just get them done they take five minutes the hardest movement i'll do today is probably going to be dumbbell rows so i'm going to do them right now while my energy is fresh and just get them going i'm going to do two to three quality sets with a relatively heavy weight it's just going to depend on how i feel but this is going to be the main exercise to develop the thickness of my back for today but i really want to primarily focus on this like this is going to be 80 percent of what's important right Right now, can't screw this up. Feels pretty good. I'm gonna go a little heavier. I think I left some weight in the tank there, but in terms of the smoothness of the movement, like sometimes my shoulders will hurt doing this, but it feels good, so I'm happy.
All right, very happy with those. I feel like I did three quality sets. My back is already feeling like destroyed from those, so I'm gonna switch to a pull down now. I wanna go to the lats after doing thickness. I feel like usually I have two good rows in me per workout and maybe two pull downs, and then I like to do some isolation stuff, but with back, it's just such a taxing muscle group. It takes up so much space on your body that realistically, the amount of energy it requires to effectively train it is high. Trying out that wider grip today on the lat pull down. It isn't the most optimal for your lats, but it feels good and it's a unique stimulus, so I kind of want to screw around with it and just see what I can do. Try to go a little heavier. I kind of feel like a beast doing these. The grip is so wide, it almost makes you feel like you're freaking, I don't even know, like pulling some crazy boulder. What, what am I saying? I don't even know. I I've got maybe like one more good set of that in me and then I'm gonna go back to a different row but this time I want to use a cable. I always like to use cables for rows because they provide a really good stimulus. With dumbbells sometimes there isn't tension at a certain point in the movement so a little bit of dumbbell work or barbell and then a little bit of cable work too. No, that's not it. It's more like I don't care about pain anymore. More important than pain. Is this impulse that's rising within me? I feel as though there's something violent boiling up from within. Let go. I see. Let go. This. Let go of everything. This is my. Let go. Let go of everything. Let go. So we're feeling good, next on the menu. Like I said, we're gonna do close grip cable rows. I've done a wide grip and I've done a neutral wrist grip for my rowing movements. So now I'm almost gonna do kind of a tucked row. This is like slightly neutral, but also a little bit supinated. We're gonna lean forward a little bit to like hit the lats and uh, it's gonna be good. You guys will notice when I'm doing these cable rows, I'm not bringing them up to my like chest, like my nipple line. I'm bringing them more down into my pelvis, like my waist. What that does is it gives me a better contraction in the lat muscle. When you go up higher, it hits kind of those upper traps, rhomboids. I don't want to target the upper back here. I'm going for a kind of lat focused exercise. So leaning forward puts more emphasis on that lat muscle. I love a good back day, but bro, it literally takes so much energy out of me. Also, I just realized I haven't had my headphones in for this entire workout. I wasn't even thinking. That would explain why I feel shittier than necessarily I need to be feeling. But yeah, love these rows. So many people just overcomplicate stuff when it comes to working out. For back day, you really only need like four, maybe even five good exercises in your routine. That's it. You don't need to worry about doing like six or seven fancy back movements. You just have to get strong at like four keystone exercises. And then you can also factor in biceps and stuff. But like for the back alone, two rows, two pull downs, you're basically chilling. I always find it so weird when I see these like influencer workouts. They're like two hours long and they have all these like crazy movements. It's like, bro, just stick to the basics. Barbell rows, pull-ups, maybe some pullovers. You're good. You don't need a lot, guys. They got a 
Adjust your size. Niggas ain't stand up. Geeks, bro. I was like, what the fuck is this? All right, rows are finito. Now I'm gonna do some lap pullovers, which is on a cable machine. Those are kind of a smaller isolation work type exercise. It's isolation work, so yeah. These feel so good, especially when you have a pump. Your lat just gets all full of blood. Ooh. The great thing about doing like rear delts for those annoying muscles to train at the beginning of your lift is once you get tired at the end, you don't have to think, oh, now I have to hit calves or oh, now I have to hit rear delts. You're just done. Back has definitely been sufficiently hit. Now I'm gonna move on to some biceps and we're gonna have some fun with arms today. I'm gonna do a lot. So I'm doing standing alternating dumbbell curls right now. These are one of my favorite bicep exercises, especially to go a little bit heavier. You just go back and forth between each arm and you can up the strength with your arms. Normally when I do both arms at the same time for a curl variation, my strength goes a bit down, but when I can focus all on one arm for like each rep and alternate, I get a little more strength. Second bicep exercise I'm gonna do is seated incline bench hammer curls. So I'm gonna sit down on a bench, put it back a little bit so I'm on an incline, and then just do hammer curls. This will get the brachialis a little bit more and target the thickness of the bicep. So if you guys know, you could have like the height, which is the peak, and then the width. So when you wanna grow your arm out in this direction, you do hammer curls, and when you wanna grow the arm up in this direction, you do like a normal curl. Yes. 
All right guys, so my camera died at the gym, but it was like perfect timing. Right as I took that last clip of me posing with the pump, it died. So came back, it's been like an hour, charged my camera, relaxed. I had a meal when I got back, but I still have some more calories I need to consume before I go to bed. So I'm gonna show you guys my secret cheat code calorie meal to bulk up my calories by like 1.5K. Oh, there's no vegetables in your diet. Oh, shut up. I don't care. I'm trying to get huge. I'm not trying to be healthy. I'm trying to get freaking massive. Bag of chips. This is 600 calories. We also have a packet of sausages. This is 700 calories. You do the math on that. That's 1300 for those two foods. I'm going to eat those together. And then with that, I'm going to have the remainder of this orange juice or most of it. I'm pretty sure all of it. And that's going to be those remaining 200 calories. It's crazy that these sausages literally come with the string like still attached or like the skin of the pork and I have to like actually cut that off. Like I've, I've just done this every time and I haven't thought anything of it, but when you really think about that, like how many like foods in the modern world today do you actually have to like manually dismantle as if, I don't know if I'm making any sense, but like this just feels like so old fashioned to me, like cutting a sausage like that, I don't know. Those are gonna fry up. I like to get them real crispy and then that'll take like 10 minutes. Have some dipping sauce with that, kill the chips, and it's game over. Alrighty guys, so here we are. We've got our sausages. Now I'm gonna put some sriracha on these. And I'm gonna dip those sausages in that sriracha like so. I'll show you what I mean. You just hit them with one of those and you go. Mm. All right. That's how it work. Easy. Ugh. Oh God. All right, so I have like a freaking right here on the inside of my lip, like right where this part of my face is, but on the inside of my mouth, on my gums. I have like an ulcer, like a mouth ulcer. I don't know what happened. And that, holy hell, when I just drank that orange juice, it took 10 seconds to kick. It just burns like a mother. I don't know how I'm gonna drink that. I'm gonna have to though. I honestly love bulking, man. What can I say? I mean, it's a blessing to be able to sit here eating foods that I enjoy, not suffering, gaining muscle, feeling strong, feeling confident with how I look. I love it, you guys. To those of you who are bulking along with me and enjoying this bulking series, I love you guys. Thank you for joining me along the journey. And uh, yeah, we're gonna take this shit to the next level, you guys. I'm really excited. I'm going to bring a new physique to the table that I have never brought. I'm gonna make you guys proud. So I just realized that earlier on, I told you guys the warm up routine that I've been doing before my back days and some other specific workouts. I just completely forgot. Look up the McGill Big Three. I'm gonna put up some text on the screen. It's called the McGill Big Three. Just look that up on YouTube. It's like the best scientifically proven warm up routine for lifters. So give it a try. I'm clocking out now. Time to get my eight hours of sleep. You guys know that sleep is the most important aspect of recovery. If I don't get my sleep dialed in, quality my workouts for the next two days will take a toll. Like it'll carry over, it's really bad. And on that note, it is time for me to end the video. If you guys are enjoying this series, please smash that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button too, and stay tuned for the next one. I will see you guys then. Peace out.